It is happening nearly every other day in St. Paul. A walker or someone on a bicycle gets hit by a car. Just yesterday afternoon, a region's hospital employee became the latest victim. A driver in a van struck 55-year-old Chani Keck in a crosswalk on Cayuga Street near a health partner's clinic. 94 people have been hit in St. Paul this year alone. Three women died. For the first time tonight, one of their families is sharing their heartbreak. WCCO's Liz Collin went along with police and found out just how many drivers aren't following the law that is supposed to prevent tragedies like this from happening. We had a hard time finding a parking space. It was crowded. They knew it would be a busy night at the Minnesota History Center in St. Paul, a regular outing between mother and daughter who consider themselves best friends. It was a rainy night and it was March, so it was still dark. Teresa and Shelby Kokish settled for street parking. At the end of the night, they clutched their umbrellas to cross a busy Kellogg Boulevard at Mulberry Street in the crosswalk. A car in the right lane stopped to let them pass. An SUV in the left didn't see them. All of a sudden, I saw it there, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to run away and go in the other way, and it was too late, and I don't know where she was. 24-year-old Shelby died at the hospital. Teresa would spend two weeks there. Got hit totally on my left side. Healing her broken ribs, a separated shoulder, and head injuries. Shelby Kokish was the first pedestrian to die in St. Paul this year. Aaron Durham became the second last month after getting her son on his school bus crossing Maryland Avenue. And the third on Tuesday, when Chani Keck, a Regents Hospital interpreter, was killed. 64 others were struck this year and survived. All right, this black Jeep and then the white car behind it. The numbers have the St. Paul Police Department hand delivering a reminder to drivers. Back on Anglewood there, there was some pedestrians in the crosswalk. You failed to stop for them. Setting up 34 two-hour crosswalk enforcement crackdowns. Yeah, it's a crosswalk. You got to stop. Officers and volunteers cross the street as Sergeant Jeremy Ellison looks on, signaling to waiting squads which cars don't stop. An overwhelming response that we're hearing from people is, I didn't see them. You got to be very, very aware. People are not paying attention and they're driving too fast. St. Paul Police have issued more than 300 citations in the 22 crosswalk enforcements they've completed, and it's a costly mistake to make. A ticket will cost you $186. That was my life. Shelby's loss has been beyond comprehension, considering what her mom has already gone through. Pushed her into the ditch and instantly killed her. Her oldest daughter, Quinn, died in a car crash less than four years ago at the age of 23. All these people in car accidents and, and pedestrian accidents, um, yeah, they need to be remembered too. Through her heartbreak, a mother is now making her message public with the hope it's enough to slow drivers down. It's not saving you that much time, but it's saving you. Liz says about 30% of drivers who hit a biker or a pedestrian were cited in St. Paul. And Liz compared St. Paul pedestrian and bike crashes with Minneapolis and found that the largest city had about half as many crashes. In Minneapolis this year, 29 pedestrians have been hit. One died. 21 bicyclists were also struck. All survived. We've set up an interactive map on our website to see for yourself where pedestrians and bicyclists have been hit in St. Paul, and you can find that at WCCO.com links.